Hello, good day everybody. In this tutorial, I will show you how to convert numbers from other bases back to base 10. So this is what we have for today. We have three problems. Uh, the first number here is 2021 in base 4. We want to convert it to base 10. And we have 111101 in base 2. We are going to convert it to base 10 as well. And lastly, we have 764 in base 8 to base 10. So the first thing you need to do is to transform the number in powers of a base. Let me start with this one. We have 20, 21 in base 4. To transform this in powers of its base, this is how it is going to be. You take the first digit here, which is 2. You multiply it with the base, and the base is 4. You add. You take the second number, which we have here as 0. You multiply it with the base, which is 4. You add. You take the third number, 2. You multiply it with the base, 4. And lastly, we have 1. You multiply it with the base, which is 4. Having done this, we are going to assign index to these bases starting from the right to left with 0, 1, 2, 3. You stop. Then we are going to simplify these terms. What we of 10 is going to be a number in base 10. So we have 4 to the power of 3. It does not mean 4 times 3. It means 4 times 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. This is equal to 2 times 64. Plus 4 to the power of 2 meaning 4 times 2 is 16. So we have 0 times 16 plus 4 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 4 plus 1 times 4 power 0 is 1. You know any number power 0 is 1 except 0. So this is 1. We simplify further again. 2 times 64 is 128. Plus 0 times 16 is 0. Plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add all this together. 128 plus 0 is still 128. 128 plus 8 is 136. And 136 plus 1 is 137. So we have 137, but this number is in base 10. And hence, you can see 20 21 in base 4, it is the same thing as 137 in base 10. Now let us see how we can convert the second number here. So we have 1110101 in base 2. We are going to express it in powers of the base. The base is 2. So we take the first number, which is 1, and we multiply it with this 2. We add. We take the second number, which is 1 again times 2, we add. We take the third number, which is also 1. We multiply by the base. The fourth number is 0. We multiply by the base. We have 1 times 2. We have 0 times 2. And lastly, we have 1 times 2. We are going to assign index to these bases starting from 0 to the right hand side of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are going to simplify each term. So, here we have 2 to the power of 6, meaning 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 
which is going to give us 64. And that 64 times 1 is still 64. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 32 times 1 is 32. Plus 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 times 1 is 16. Plus 0 times this is going to be 0. Plus 2 power 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 0 times this is going to make it 0. Plus 2 power 0 is 1. Then 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add all together. We have 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. We have all together 117, which is a number in base 10. And therefore, 1110101 in base 2 is equal to 117 in base 10. So now let us look on to the last one, which is 764. We have 764 in base 8. We are going to transform it in powers of the base. The first digit is 7. We multiply it with the base, which is 8. We add. Take the second digit, which is 6. You multiply by the base. You add. You take the last digit, 4. You multiply with the base. We are going to assign index from the right to left, starting with 0, 1, 2. We are going to simplify. Whatever we obtain is a number in base 10. 8 power 2 is 8 times 8, which is 64. This is 7 times 64. Plus, we have 6 times 8, because 8 power 1 is the same thing as 8 plus the last one, which is 4 times 1, because 8 power 0 is 1. So we have 7 times 64. We have 448, plus 6 times 8 is 48, plus 4 times 1 is 4. We add all of them together. We have 448 plus 48 plus 4. Altogether, we have 500. So this is equal to 500. And this 500 is a number in base 10. And hence, we say 764 in base 8 is equal to 500 in base 10. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.